In this video, you will learn about unutilized capital allowances and unutilized trade losses. In a particular year of assessment, or YA, a company may have tax deductions or capital allowances that could not be fully utilized as there was insufficient income to set off against. Unutilized trade losses for a particular YA arise when a company has insufficient or no income from other sources to set off against business losses incurred during that YA. Unutilized capital allowances for a particular YA arise when the capital allowances claimed in that YA cannot be fully utilized due to insufficient income or business losses incurred during that YA. In YA 20x3, SE Pastries Private Limited had current year trade losses of $20,000, resulting in unutilized trade losses of $20,000. In addition, SE Pastries had also claimed capital allowances, resulting in unutilized capital allowances of $50,000. Don't worry. The unutilized capital allowances and unutilized trade losses can be carried forward indefinitely and deducted against future income. Subject to qualifying conditions. Would you like to know what these qualifying conditions are? The unutilized capital allowances and unutilized trade losses can only be deducted against future income if the company satisfies the shareholding test. This means that the ultimate shareholders and their shareholdings as at the two relevant dates are substantially the same. In other words, if the percentage of the shareholding of the common shareholders as at the two relevant dates are 50% or more, there is no substantial change in shareholders and their shareholdings. Otherwise, it is regarded as having a substantial change in shareholders and their shareholdings. When claiming the unutilized capital allowances, there is an additional condition to fulfill, which is the same business test. This means that there must not be any change in the company's principal activities. For example, if SE Pastries changes its bakery business to the selling of furniture, the same business test condition will not be met. Now, we need to determine what are these two relevant dates for the unutilized capital allowances and unutilized trade losses in order to know if the company has satisfied the shareholding test. Let's take a closer look. For the unutilized capital allowances, the first relevant date is the last day of the YA in which the capital allowances arose. This will always be on the 31st of December. The second relevant date is the first day of the YA in which the unutilized capital allowances are set off against the income. This will always be on the 1st of January. For the unutilized trade losses, the first relevant date is the last day of the calendar year in which the trade losses were incurred. This will always be on the 31st of December regardless of your company's financial year end. The second relevant date is the first day of the YA in which the unutilized trade losses are set off against the income. This will always be on the 1st of January. There must not be any substantial change in shareholders and their shareholdings as at the relevant dates. This means that the percentage of shareholding of the common shareholders as at the relevant dates must be 50% or more. If your company has an ultimate holding company, you will need to look at the shareholders of the ultimate holding company as at the relevant dates. When utilizing the unutilized capital allowances and unutilized trade losses, the order of claiming the deductions against the current year income must be in the following order. First, the unutilized capital allowances starting with the capital allowances from the earliest YA. Second, current year capital allowances. Next, the unutilized trade losses starting with the trade losses from the earliest YA. For YA 20x4, SE Pastries has a taxable income of $100,000. 
the amount of unutilized capital allowances and unutilized trade losses brought forward from YA20X3 are $50,000 and $20,000 respectively. Can SE Pastries utilize the unutilized capital allowances and unutilized trade losses to set off against the taxable income in YA20X4? Let's check the relevant dates for SE Pastries. The unutilized capital allowances arose in YA20X3. So the first relevant date for claiming the unutilized capital allowances is the last day of that YA in which the capital allowances arose. This would be the 31st of December 20X3. SE Pastry's unutilized trade losses were incurred in 20X2, so the first relevant date for claiming the unutilized trade losses is the last day of the calendar year in which the losses were incurred. This would be the 31st of December 20X2. Now, SE Pastries is claiming these unutilized capital allowances and unutilized trade losses in YA20X4. The second relevant date for claiming the unutilized capital allowances and unutilized trade losses is the first day of the YA in which the unutilized capital allowances or unutilized trade losses are set off. This would be the 1st of January 20x4. As at the relevant dates for claiming the unutilized capital allowances and unutilized trade losses, Selena has been the sole shareholder of SE Pastries. Thus, the shareholding test has been fulfilled. Do you remember that there is an additional condition to be satisfied before utilizing the unutilized capital allowances? Yes, that would be the same business test. SE Pastry's principal activity has not changed. Hence, the same business test is satisfied. Thus, SE Pastries can utilize the unutilized capital allowances and unutilized trade losses to set off against the taxable income in YA20X4. SE Pastries will first claim the unutilized capital allowances of $50,000 against the taxable income of $100,000. Next, the unutilized trade losses of $20,000 will be used to set off against the remaining income. The company's taxable income has now been reduced to $30,000. Hooray! Let's recap. The unutilized capital allowances or unutilized trade losses can be carried forward to set off against a company's future income if the shareholding test is satisfied. For the unutilized capital allowances, the company also needs to satisfy the same business test. The unutilized capital allowances will be used to set off against the company's taxable income first, followed by the unutilized trade losses. You may visit the IRAS website or contact us for more information.